truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflum. Oh, Kiflum. really? Oh! You're pathetic! I know, Trevor! My god, you're pathetic, Ron! Pathetic! I know, Trevor! I know! I'm sorry! You really are a sad excuse for a man. The worst excuse, Trevor! There you are, handsome. Hello, Mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Log 8-9-Zeta-3X. Wait. Wait! Wait! Stop! What's the problem, homie? Wait. Carbon-based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are... Readings are... Shoot. This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14-9-305. Time is... 789 past the Manc Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based life form. Greetings, homie. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings, and out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then, they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Smell any funny spices? I don't see anything, boss. Hey, give me documents. What? Passport, давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. А, да ты по-английски не шаришь? Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы, как один. 
и по гражданским арестам, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster. And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Come on, come on, you drive. You drive, let's go! Drive, get in the back. I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. Well, I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real <laughs> as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though, we'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Hey, if you do well in your civil boarded patrol trial, we will, of course, pay you for your time. Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be? Then drunk as a skunk at the Alamo Sea. Hey, you're banned. Is anyone not banned? Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Hey, Trevor, get out here now. They're in that car. Let's go. We do not have time to stop. Go, go. Let's bring him in, boys. Here, take the stun gun. Really? Nobody needs to die here. We're civilized people. Go, go! Let, let's bring him in, boys. Here, take the stun gun. Really? Nobody needs to die here. We're civilized people. Can you believe they're singing? It's like they don't even care. You can keep your socialist ballad to revolution and discontent to yourself! Hold on to your pointed hats! We're taking the scenic route! They're a law unto themselves! Oh, yet. I don't know. They come here taking our job. All those mariachi singer jobs have been stolen. They don't just take one. No. Some of them are doing two or shut. three thankless low pay jobs to support their families. It's an outrage! Mariachi singers, the worst of the bunch. You know, you can't take a subway in peace in Liberty City these days. Oh. Hey, hey you, stop the vehicle! This is a citizen's arrest! Well, of course they wouldn't understand me, now would they? Go subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. 
We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. Please, no more. I go with you. You don't like music? Hello? Kiflam, you have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready! I don't know about that. <laughs> the truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as five thousand dollars. Five thousand? What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! Okay. Hey, hey, homie, come, come here. You know what? If you thought it was incredible getting a shot of that aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting in a dirt box, man. Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude. Dude, it is a backdoor bonanza where that bitch is concerned. America's newest sweetheart. Man, she likes cotton candy and puff. Yeah, and getting in the bunghole. No, no, seriously, dude. One shot of that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. And who says America is going to hell? Well, not me. I... <laughs> Come on, let's move. Now, remember, dude, this is a covert op. We need to blend in ninja style. Follow my lead. Confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah, me and you, we ain't gonna stand out. At all. Shh, you blow our cover. This should be fucking interesting. Wait, Vato, I can't wait for you know what? I can hear someone! Stay close and play it cool! What do you want me to do? I'm at work. Just change his diaper. It's not that hard. I don't care if it smells like number two. He's your grandfather. That's what family do. Listen, I gotta go. Love you. And do your homework, okay? Hey, Maria. How are going? You know, another day, another minimum wage. You see the state of Bungalow Tres? No, was it bad? Come on, they should be just past this pool. You still owe me a drink. Chinga! Oh shit! Security! Abort! Abort! Come on! Go, go, go! Get your ass in the car now! The show can be after us! Well, don't just sit there! Film that psycho slut! Damn! America's sweetheart is one angry ass bitch! <laughs> yeah, I know! She's terrifying! It's perfect! I'll try to lose them! I was working on my quads, you idiots! Straight road coming up! This is your chance to get a good shot of her! 
Man, you're not the one hanging out this fucking trunk. You people are stuck! Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better. Whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? That motherfucker's right on top of us, dawg! I'm taking a sharp right! Keep that camera on her! Those two men are child molesters! I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection! Hold on! We need her face, man! Don't let me down! You have no idea what I'm capable of! Move! Come on, man! Hit the gas! This crazy-ass bitch! Ah, oh, shit! We got traffic ahead! Going left! Keep it steady! I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! Shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever. She's fine. I'll wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the that no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? 
Let's go have the time of our lives. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip! Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all real red. You got... You got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just... No licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. Last year. Not again. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and... Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm. <laughs> Here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy. Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste, but nice. Are you going for a swim? Where do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. That's cold! Don't be a baby! Mommy's not here! I'm your mama now! What are you doing, Marianne? Focus! Focus!
across the damn road! You and my aunt should hook up. You have fun not having fun together. My heart rate never dropped below 175. I've gone bionic. Push through the bird. Use it. Take it, your friends. I'm trying. I think. Well, great, you won. Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning. All right, we gotta keep going. Some loser, fat, unmarried, career-driven loser. Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out. Go to hell. <laughs> 